my dear friends may the peace and healing of the lord be with you all as we bring to you the readings of today's holy mass let us now listen to the word of god catholic daily mass readings and reflections for november 8 2023 wednesday of the 31st week in ordinary time first reading a reading from the letter of saint paul to the romans chapter 13 verses 8 to 10 Brothers and sisters, you should owe nothing to anyone except so as to love one another. For whoever loves his neighbor has fulfilled the law. For example, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not speak false testimony, you shall not covet. And if there is any other commandment, it is summed up in this word you shall love your neighbor as yourself the love of neighbor does no harm therefore love is the fulfillment of the law the word of the lord thanks be to god response real sum your response blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need blessed the man who fears the lord who greatly delights in his commands his posterity shall be mighty upon the earth the upright generation shall be blessed your response blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need he dawns through the darkness a light for the upright he is gracious and merciful and just well for the man who is gracious and lends who conducts his affairs with justice your response blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need lavishly he gives to the poor his generosity shall endure forever his horn shall be exalted in glory your response blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need the acclamation alleluia alleluia if you are insulted for the name of christ blessed are you for the spirit of god rests upon you alleluia alleluia gospel a reading from the holy gospel according to luke chapter 14 verses 25 to 33 great crowds were traveling with jesus and he turned and addressed them If any one comes to me without hating his father and mother wife and children brothers and sisters and even his own life he cannot be my disciple whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion otherwise after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work the onlookers should laugh at him and say this one began to build but did not have the resources to finish or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20000 troops but if not while he is still far away he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms in the same way every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ today's reflection on the readings my dear brothers and sisters in christ to jesus what is the message in luke 14 25 to 33 jesus is not urging his disciples to have an emotional hatred for their families rather he is urging them to place their wholehearted loyalty to jesus above their familial ties as the disciples primary passion is following jesus 
prioritizing chases over one's own life and all family members my dear friends luke 14:25 to 33 is our gospel reading for today the cost of discipleship is discussed here this serves as a helpful reminder to live like jesus every day suffering after jesus is the only path to heaven carrying jesus cross and imitating him in daily life are pre requisites for becoming a follower read luke 14:25 to 33 to see the real deal how much does it cost to follow christ then in following jesus which cross are you expected to bear a good christian life is symbolized by this leading a virtuous life is the only path to following jesus it is emphasized in luke 14:25 to 33 that following jesus is not an easy task for the benefit of our brothers and sisters we must stop at nothing it implies that we also need to develop our ability to love other people give up everything we own including wealth to follow jesus serving people in need is a skill we must acquire as believers we have to bear our cross and proclaim the good news my dear family of mother mary's protection luke 14:25 to 33 serves as a reminder that living a life that is compatible with jesus is difficult all difficulties and thorns will appear along the path we will be laughed at by many and many people will never trust us even so we still need to work more to gain other people's confidence the difficulties humiliations and trials that come with being a disciple are represented by the cross we might encounter a road block that makes it difficult for us to reach the glory but we can claim to have succeeded as soon as we carry out our responsibilities and begin to see others change prayer lord grant me the ability to bear your cross and experience its weight i would gladly take up the cross to serve people as i aspire to be your disciple amen my dear friends please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching god bless you